why thinking positive is not the only thing that you need to be doing. Okay, so a lot of people have reached out recently. I've had a client actually reach out and ask. Well, she wasn't a client yet, but she became a client. Oh, poor network, how annoying. Is it going to let me do this or not? And she was asking, well, what do I teach? What is my philosophy? Do I do energy healing? Because I'm, I've done energy healing and I believe in it, but I need something else. I need something more physical, more tangible. Okay, and so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda, and I'm very passionate about helping people recover from sleeping issues, from energy issues, from hormonal imbalances, okay, thyroid issues, and autoimmune problems. And um, I am of agreeance that we do need to think positively because we do have to actually believe that our body can be well, okay, and we do have to trust in things. Uh, but no, I'm not an energy healer. I am not um, just working on mind work. I treat people holistically. Yes, that's important. But yes, that's important. And what I focus on is the science-based things that physically happen in the body. So yes, when we're thinking negatively and we're thinking uh, stressfully and we have anxiety and depression, there are certain things, certain chemical reactions that happen in the body. And this can happen for certain reasons. Maybe we're missing certain nutrients. Maybe we're missing certain minerals. Maybe we're missing certain components and certain enzymes that our body uh, isn't making. And so I work on a physiological level. Um, but I do believe that thinking positively, and I am a positive person, but that doesn't make me immune to illness. It doesn't. Okay? Because I am a very positive person. You can ask my husband. You can ask my sister. What's going on with my hair? It's terrible. Okay? But it doesn't make me immune to illness. Okay? Because you still need certain things on a day-to-day -day basis that support the body as well. So yes, mental health is really, really important and there's probably not enough focus put on mental health, but we also need to be supporting the body on a physiological level. There's never really just one thing that we need to be doing. Like what we need to be doing is supporting the body on a holistic level, working on all of these levels, okay? But I do work on physiological things, okay, and science-based things. So yes, if you've been through one of my programs, you'll know that I do talk about mental health and I do talk about certain things that I do to help myself stay positive and mindful every day. But that's not the only area that I work in. I work on what's going on in the body on a physiological level. What nutrients are we missing? Why are we stressed out? Why are we anxious? What are we missing because of that? Okay, so yes. So that's my answer to that question when someone reached out and asked that. And that was because I'm not an energy healer. I do believe that being positive and thinking positive is important. And I work on that myself every day. But what I work on with clients is mostly on a physiological level. What nutrients are we missing? What minerals are we missing? What's going on? How did we get here? Why have we got autoimmune problems? Why have we got thyroid issues? What's happened in our life to create that? Okay, and I help them pinpoint what the root cause is. And then we work back from there. Okay. Anyway, you have a good day. I hope this was useful and answering your questions. And uh, if you're watching live, let us know live. And if you're catching this on the replay, then let us know replay. And I know a few people have messaged and said, yes, they're interested in a couple of the free masterclasses that we're going to start running before the new program. Okay, so I will put out events for that very soon. Okay.